Hey Divination, thanks for joining us in this tutorial where we'll be showing you how to create a beautiful navigation page using Divi and Divi's built-in settings. Without any further delay, let's get to it. Before we dive into the tutorial, let's take a look at what our result will look like. This is the desktop version. Then we have the tablet version. And this is what it looks like on mobile. So the first thing I'll need to do is add a new page, go to pages, add new. Then I'm going to give my page a title. Enable the TV builder and switch over to visual builder. For this tutorial, we'll only be needing one section, which already exists. So I'm going to add a row with one column next. And before I add any modules, I'm going to change the row settings. So the first thing I'll need to do is add a background image in the background subcategory. And I'll make sure that my background image repeat is set to no repeat. Then I'll go to the design tab and make use of a right row alignment. Next, I'll also need a custom width in percentage. I'm going to enter 100%. Then I'm going to open the spacing subcategory and add a top and bottom margin of five pixels. And last but not least, I'm going to disable this row on tablet and phone. So now I can start adding the modules. I'll choose a text module first, enter some text into the content box, and then move on to the design tab. And I'll need a font family, which is called Andika. And I'm going to choose a text size of 13 pixels, and I'll use black as my text color. Next, I'm also going to put the text line A to 1.1 and use a left text alignment. And I'll also add a width of 18% in the sizing subcategory. Then I'll open the spacing subcategory, add 150 pixels to the top and minus 20% to the left. And I'll also want to add a custom padding of 10 pixels to the top and bottom. All right, so now I can add another module. Uh, we'll be needing the divider module and I'm going to enable the show divider option in the visibility category, subcategory first and then I'm going to choose a color for my divider and add some settings. And then I'm going to change the divider weight to five pixels. I'm gonna leave the height like how it is and change the width to 47% and use a left module alignment. All right. Next, I'm going to add my navigation item in a text module. So I'll start by entering some text and adding a link to that text. Then I'll open the background subcategory, go to the gradient background and use the colors that I provide in the link in the description below as my background color. Then 
and I'm going to choose linear as my gradient type and add 108 degrees to my gradient direction, 31% to my star position, and 21% to my M position. All right, then I can go to the Design tab, open the Text subcategory, and go to the Link tab, and use, again, Andika as my font family. Use a font weight in bold, and enable uppercase and underline. I'll also change the text size to 100 pixels and the text color to black. Then I'm going to scroll down and open the spacing subcategory. I'll need a top margin of minus 33 pixels, a bottom margin of 250 pixels and a negative left margin of minus 20%. Then I'll add a custom padding as well, 80 pixels to the top and 80 pixels to the bottom. All right. So now I have the first row for my desktop version. So I'm going to clone that one and just make the changes if I want to add other navigation ones items as well. So I'll just change the background image of my row all right and then i'll open the navigation item text module and go ahead and change the text and the link and then i'll also change the second gradient color that i've used in my background color into something else just to make sure this navigation item you know distinguishes itself from the other navigation items And I'll also change the star position to make sure that I have the right length that matches my navigation item. So I can do that as many times as I want. So the next thing I'll do is add the mobile version. So I'm going to go and add a new row with one column as well. And I'll open the row settings, go to the design tab, open the sizing subcategory and enable the make this row full width option and use a custom gutter width of one. Then I'll go to the advanced tab and disable this row on desktop because this is the mobile version. So now I can go ahead and add the modules. I'll start with the text module. Again, I'm going to copy some text and place it in the content box. Then I'll go to the design tab, open the text subcategory, and again, change my font family to Andika. and use a text size of 13 pixels and a black text color. A text line height of 1.1 again and make sure that my text orientation is set to center. Then I'll add a width of 71% and I'll put the model alignment to center. Next, I'll add a custom padding of 10 pixels to the top and take 10 pixels to the bottom. Then I'll, I can go ahead and add another text module because we won't be needing the divider module in this case. And I'll enter the navigation item and put a link to it. Then I'll go to the background subcategory and again add a gradient background 
This is the same gradient background as the one we used in the desktop version. So I'm going to add the two color codes and enter 108 degrees for my gradient direction and 31% for my start position, 21% for my end position. Then I'll move on to the design tab and again open the link text settings, use Andika as my font family and use a bold font weight and a text size of 65 pixels and a black text color. Then I'll open the spacing subcategory and add 80 pixels to the top and bottom. Actually, I also need to make my text capitals and underlined. Then I'll add a an image module and add the image to that image model. All right. So now you can see how it looks on tablet and phone. Actually, I want to make my text a little bit larger. I'll go to the link tab and just put it to 80 pixels. All right. So now I have my tablet and phone version. Now I can clone my row again and make some modifications to match my other navigation items as well. So I'll open the navigation item text module, change the text, and change the link to it as well. Then I'll open the background subcategory, change the color, and change the start position as well just to make it fit with uh, the length of my text. Then I'll also change the image module. I'll just use another image and that's it. Now that we've gone through the tutorial, let's take a final look at the result. This is the desktop version. If you follow all the steps, you should be able to achieve this result. Then we have the tablet version and this is what it looks like on mobile. That's all for this video. Thanks for tuning in. We hope that you enjoyed it. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up and make sure that you subscribe to our social media channels so you'll get a notification every time we have something new for you. Thanks again for watching and we hope to see you in our next video.